think those days will ever be repeated again from the 70s? Nothing like it, is there? Even the culture nowadays is completely different. Well, from what I see here, it's a different culture. I mean, there are people who work out here, and you know, they're in shape, and some are quite nice, but the, 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 the really better ones always look like they're on enhancers, on steroids. Right. You could just see there's a difference. But it's, it's not even the, the camaraderie or friendship like and, we had back then. And the, and the camaraderie is not there. Although, uh, well, no, not, not quite the same as before, but I've met people here who you can get quite friendly with. It's sort of up to you. I mean, you know, of a variety of people. I mean, th our clique was sort of like hard worker out guys. Right. And then the camaraderie on top of it was, it was almost unusual for the time that it lasted. Well, it was like a high school clique. You, that, that kept going on and on. Yeah, we went on and on and on, and you were down at the beach, you were at the gym, your beach is across the street, you hung out there, you parked your car, you never left the area, just within a mile, you were down at the beach and walking around doing stuff. Here you've got to actually get your car and move it and go somewhere else. We used to laugh at the gold. The gold wouldn't go past Lincoln Boulevard if you had a date. Everybody uh, had to be on the west side. I remember that. <laughs> All right, so years have gone by, and now you're you're a chiropractor. Yeah. And you have a full-time business where? Is it in West L.A.? No, right here in, uh, I don't know, Marina area. Oh. I'm right nearby here. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, I, I, I left the other place. I was there for 30-some-odd years. That's right, I remember that. And then I moved here. And so now you're working and training and taking it easy and doing all yeah. things you like as usual. I do, yeah, pretty much the same stuff. Hasn't changed no, not really. You know what it is, Seymour? I think the old school method, of, like we did back then with our lifestyle of working out and laying in the sun and doing, never goes away. Well, if you learn, you know, I mean, if you find what you like. Right. And you can manage to keep doing it, why not? Exactly. Unless you've got something better you want to do. Well, there's nothing better than I want to do than lay in the sun I mean, and work unless out. there's something better you want to do. Yeah. It's all like, what do you want to do? It's like, so the, the talk of retire doesn't make any sense. Retire from what and to what? Yeah. I mean, hopefully you're doing a lot of what you like to do anyway. Exactly. So you just continue it. Exactly. As long as you're able. As long as you're able. But we're fortunate because we live here in sunny California, and the beach is right across the street, and our lifestyle is conducive to that. Yeah. And I moved to the valley, but it's still 15 minutes over still, here. But you're still I'm here. still here. But across the United States, people don't have access to this, and their lifestyle is 8 to 5, and that's what they do. It's hard for them to do something like this because they don't... Well, so you're not going to do as much as much sun worshiping right i'll put it that way I, I, i'll give you a thought sad a sad one my skin isn't up to the job to take long hours of the sun anymore neither is mine i've had several bouts of skin cancer and i should probably have a hat on it, right now it's almost like an old whore exactly <laughs> you know and uh, it's just an old whore well the skin gets to be like an old bag yeah it does <laughs> no, and that's the way it is so you, you take it sparingly you have yeah, to. You just, I mean, really, I, you know, I'm, I try to be as careful, and I still like it. I mean, it just feels good. It does. No question about it. And especially me, like, uh, and I like dunking in the water. Yeah. Because I'm like a water baby. I know you are. And so for me, it's the sun, and then you need a place that... I know. Well, I'm glad we got to get together and talk, because this is fun, and this will be good for the viewers to see, because I want them to see you. Because mm -hmm. in all honesty, and I've told you this before, you were always an inspiration to me when I met you. I always admired you. I admired your intelligence, your personality, your wit, your charm, and just a good friend. And it, it really meant a lot to me to talk to you today. Oh, thank you. So thank you so Tell much. you also. Thank we'll, you. We'll, we'll, we'll talk. Okay. Uh, thank you for watching Rick's Corner with Seymour Koenig.